This is one of the villages in Zimbabwe that you are likely to find and the type of buildings you find there are similar in almost every village although some are brick made and some are built with different materials but the essence is just the same they're similar the heart usually the kitchen is designed with a fireplace in the center and shelves and utensils on the front and one side a built-in bench for men to sit and on the other side where mess ladies sit. This is a shopping center, local shopping center. It's not much but it's supplies what people need and maize is one of the main crops grown in the fields the fields are almost adjacent to the homestead just as cattle pens because cattle are the wealth of an African Zimbabwean man the land just around the homestead is utilized to till and, and grow crops like maize and rapoko. In some cases, the people have more cattle and they keep them so that they live on them. They make their living from either the sale of costs and cattle. Goats and cattle are the wealth of an African Zimbabwean man. Every homestead should have either goats cattle and some chickens of course and occasionally when there's a special occasion a goat is slaughtered for people to enjoy goats are controlled from their movements by tying them to certain points using pegs and strings unless they've got the young ones to feed in which case they are brought into the yard into the homestead enclosure so that they can feed the young ones but the cattle have got the bigger pen the biggest pen and they also produce manure from their droppings that is organic manure which is used in almost this barren land that is the expanse of all the rural areas in most areas of Zimbabwe. There we see a goat being tied to a post so that he can graze no further than the strength of the length of the drop or string. The goats are kept in certain enclosures and these are also in front of the homestead so that they are always within sight of the owners to prevent theft. And so are cattle. You hardly find cattle too far away. They are always around the home except when they are being taken to a dam for watering where they have to drink. And almost every, every home in Zimbabwe nowadays, every homestead has got a toilet, a real toilet. And these are called blair toilets where there's a pit and a, a built-in concrete slab with a seat
and the, the bathing area which is plain so that you can bring in a bucket or something a container with warm water to bath and goats are always around they are always around the home they always mingle about graze but they've got to be washed because they always stray into the fields this is why sometimes they have to use strings or ropes to make sure that they don't stray into the crops or kept in an enclosure like this and given some food or being fed from there so that they don't wander around Maize is the main crop that is grown in most of the Zimbabwean homesteads. It is almost a custom for all people to grow maize. And that is the general staple food for the people. Cattle cannot be ignored because they're almost everywhere and in some cases they have to be watered from a borehole where one has to drain draw water and give them in a bucket to drink one after another and this is the time where those with young ones have to feed them as well If there are too many young ones, the mothers have got a task to make sure that it is the watering time the young ones are fed. Because when going out to the field for grazing, the young ones are kept at home with the goats so that they don't get lost or get attacked. Some lush pastures are too far away so this is too dangerous to take some young ones and then in some cases a long trip to the water dam is usual that is all thank you for watching please subscribe